Good afternoon, I'm back, Lucha FM, with another episode of Fight Club Pro on TW9. Um, in the last episode, we booked a few of our um, shows that we do, weekly shows, um, Blackout, sorry, I was trying to vamp there because I couldn't remember what it was called, yeah, Blackout. So we did a couple of Blackout episodes, um, but basically we're just, we're just spending so much money each week. So um, I'm now minus 17 grand, which is not what I wanted. Uh, if I carry on, I'm probably going to be more in debt every week. So what I'm going to do is give it another month of weekly shows. And if it doesn't turn around, if I can't get a TV deal, which is probably a likely situation, I am probably going to have to revert to a once a month event because it's a lot more manageable, um, which is a shame, really. But that's just unfortunate how it is. Maybe I should have just started with the monthly events like I did last time. Um, wait for my money to build up a bit through the alliance and then take it from there really so we might have to go a step back before we go a step forward but like i said i'm happy to take my time with it so we'll just see how it goes worst comes to worst um i can get rid of the debt using the editor and then basically just start from scratch again and just do the monthly shows so we, we don't get too much into debt each month so we'll just see but like i said this episode is going to be us just doing the weekly events for the next four weeks. Hopefully, um, we can get the ball rolling financially a little bit. It might pick up a bit. We don't know. We'll see. But I'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode. Right, we're back. And um, we've got our first Blackout episode, Blackout 5 tonight. So let's just crack on with that. Um, hopefully we can book a decent show this time. Let's see, so we'll just go with Starworks as always. And then booking team meeting, there was, I don't know what I did there. But anyway, locker room incidents. Um, Lando caused heat backstage with mean spirited rib pulled on Roy Knight. That's quite funny because Roy Knight was the one that did it last time. So it's quite funny the bullies now getting bullied, but we will sort out Joe Lando in a minute. And then Trent Seven, blah, blah, blah. Right, so what we're going to do is call out Joe Lando. Cannot be called because called out within three years of last time. Oh, okay. So then it's a rib on Joe Lando. We'll do a major prank. Your rib has gone down well with the rest of the locker room. Good. Three shows complete. There we go. Right. So the last show that we did, we got a 46 rating and we have 50 people in. So hopefully we can um, we can do a little bit better than that. So what we'll do is we'll start the show with a tag team match. Uh, I've only got one legit tag team, which is quite funny. Fly costume. We'll have them against... Um, men's blues. We'll have we'll have Lee Hunter and man like the Reese. Might be a decentish tag team. Bit of an odd couple, but might work out well. And we'll have Kid Lycos and Kid Lycos two winning that one. Oh yeah, tag titles are on the line because they're the only t they're the only tag team we've got, so they are the current tag team champions. Right, and then what we'll do after the match. Oh no, I forgot. This, this is so annoying now they've done these angles now. Um, I wish it was like before. I won't bother with the angle for that match. Right, uh, what we'll do now is we'll do a women's match. Um, we've only got three women on the roster, so I think we'll do Kanji versus Millie McKenzie. I don't think they've wrestled yet. I I could be wrong. Chemistry, have they wrestled before? Uh, I don't know. We'll soon find out. I think Millie is the women's champion. Yeah. So we'll put Millie's title on the line. Sorry for the buzzing noise. That is a fly that won't die. 
not my, my girlfriend doesn't like using fly spray because it ruins the uh ruins the wallpaper or something like that i have to constantly try and swap flies at all times drive me mad right milli to win open match and what we'll what we'll try and do is keep strong kanji because i want to try and Oh, okay, we can't do that because she's always, she's going to be a lifelong underdog, apparently, whatever that means. And then what we'll do, we'll do a post-match beatdown, Millie beating Kanji, like that. Uh, Millie attacks Kanji. And then uh, Kanji is the victim. And then hopefully it should. Yeah, there we go. Right. How long have we done so far? 39 minutes. We've got loads of time left, so let's do another match. And we'll do Will Cruz versus Matthew Horgan. Unless I've already done that one. I feel like I've already done it. Let's do Dave Mastiff. And what we're going to do is gonna have Will Cruz win open match we're gonna do tainting win interference count out finish and then we'll do interference um Dave Mastiff go Lando there we go so it all makes sense and then we'll do Joe Lando Attacker, Will Cruz, Attacker, Dave Mastiff, Victim, so we'll have post match beatdown, Cruz and Lando Attack. Okay. Um, and we've got enough time to do a main event, so we'll do Trent versus um, could do Clint, I suppose. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Uh, Bobby Atkins, no. I think it's going to have to be Leon Slater. I know they have wrestled already against each other, but they are lacking quality. 18 minutes if it lets us it probably won't leave it uh oh that's fine they're happy with that right then let's see how we get on with this show so um obviously like cost gym retain their titles they've got 49 rating in the wrestling rating 51 in the segment rating overall um roy knight could have done a better job stand up performer was kid like cost two with a 57 uh, Kanji versus Millie McKenzie, got a 50 rating for the segment, 47 for the wrestling. Uh, Millie was the stand-up performer of this match with a 55. Uh, segment, the angle afterwards, got a 39 rating. Uh, Will Cruz defeated Dave Mastiff when Dave Mastiff intentionally got... Oh, I balls this up completely. Um, he got intentionally counted out, okay. During the match, we also had run in and attack Mastiff. So, yeah, I completely balls that up. That wasn't meant to happen. It was meant to be count out because of interference by Joe Lando. So Dave Mastiff couldn't get back into the ring in time. So that's what was meant to happen. But anyway, got a 40 rating for the wrestling, 42 rating for the segment. Dave Mastiff was the better out of the two. Angle afterwards got 21. Lando and Alvarez are a good pairing. And then the main event, um, Trent Seven defeated Leon Slater. Got a 53 rating for the segment, 56 for the wrestling. Leon Slater was slightly better than Trent, but they both performed quite well. Apparently, Leon Slater, Leon Slater seems off his game. Um, let's see how the, we got 50, so we've matched the same result as. Well, actually, no, I think we did slightly better. I think it was less than 50 last one, I could be wrong. And then 50 people, so we got the same attendance, increased the popularity in one region. Right, address the locker room, won't bother 
that financial report so we only made 350 pounds from ticket sales merchandise nine so our revenue for the whole show was 359 and our total costs were 2281 so we need to do something about this because this is ridiculous um maybe i need to hire wrestlers that are cheaper um, but i think i've got all the local wrestlers that are, are on the that are on the roster already so i think we're kind of stuck really popularity we've been we have about 11 in the midlands i think that's it there we go not a bad first show to kick off the episode we'll just have a quick look see if there's any news items worth talking about i definitely think the long i definitely think what i need to do for next episode is just go to one show a month the downside of that is it takes forever to holiday in between the shows um dave's not happy hopefully we'll just give him a bonus i was kind of hoping to i want i can get rid of this but I feel like it ruins the game and makes it too easy if I don't have any morale. But it is getting very tempting because I'm getting fed up with wrestlers moaning. Um, right, so there's nothing worth telling you about now. We've got our next, we've got a bigger event, big event, Psycho Circus. I forgot to change the names of the events, so I will do that before the next episode if I remember. We've got that in four days, so I'll be back in a minute with our first big event. Right, we're back with um the event psycho circus um we'll go with for this one what we're going to do is pick the best option um due to the lack of appropriate place that the generic there the generic venue has been chosen the best potential location okay right booking team incidents um we're just going to ignore that because i don't like that feature it's boring to me it's not like if they were giving me these like storyline ideas that say oh you should put these two in, in a storyline or Put these two in a match fair enough but it doesn't it's just not really for me um right so dan reed was brought into restless court accused of being absorbed by his phone boring i can't be bothered with that one uh so uh, accused of moaning about stuff all the time and bumming everybody out i wonder what that was going to say there <laughs> i thought it was going to say bumming everyone full stop but jesus christ um yeah so two naughty boys uh, Dan Reed has had a small backstage class with Trent Seven, the morale officer, fair enough. Um, apparently Dave Masters and Brendan White had a blazing argument outside the venue. Okay. The train at Trent Seven. Um, hardline stance. Assert your authority by saying that if anyone isn't happy working, you know, I better not do that because everybody will probably leave. In convention, no, no, no. Inspire, make a big, yeah, okay, we'll try Inspire. You've given an inspirational speech, the entire locker room is now fired up and buzzing with anticipation. There we go. That's what we like to see. Uh, right, book the show. So, what we'll do to start the show is we're going to have Leon. Oh, we haven't got Lee. Oh my god, we've only got. We've literally only got about. Oh my god, where's all our wrestlers? <laughs> Where is all our wrestlers? Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got twelve wrestlers here. Thank God we've got Trent and Dave Mastiff, so we can put them in the main event. We've just got to figure out who we're going to put in the other matches. So, what we'll do is we'll do Amari versus Brady Phillips, I suppose. Actually, no, we'll do Brian Alvarez. Brian Alvarez. Well, Brian Alvarez winning. Um, we'll have a cheap win. So this means a DQ victory account with the account out finish. Uh, and then we'll just leave it as that. Right. We'll do post match beat down by Brian Alvarez and Omari. Uh, you can hear that noise in the background. It's Baxter who is roaming around with his sausage 
boy that he's got. He is feeling better. Um, I don't know if anybody saw one of my other videos I posted. He was not very well. Um, he is better now. He went to the vets yesterday. They they checked him out and they've given him some antibiotics basically. Um, so he is on the men. He is eating now as well because he wasn't eating much yesterday. But last night he had chicken and rice and he was quite happy with that. Um, so yeah, right. Uh, we'll have Ashley Dunn versus Lee Hunter. We really are struggling for good matches here. We'll have Lee Hunter win. I believe that was a regular match. Oh, okay. Uh, staff. Okay, and then we'll have Ashley Dunn attacking Lee Hunter after the match. Right, so that's that. Uh, there. We've only got, oh, we've got, we actually got two women, so we'll do Jetta versus Millie. At least that's a decent match that we can put on. The women's title on the line. Uh, we'll leave it blank and we'll go steal the show. Let's hope, hope for the best that they will. Um, right, we've, got, we've still got loads of time left. So we've got to do one, two, three, one, two, three. So we've only got, we've only got essentially three matches we can do left because Brady Phillips and Brendan White and Joe Lando and Shea Persa are in the stable. Um, we can't use Dave Mastiff or Trent Seven, so we've got Matthew Horgan and Rory Knight. So we've got them, we can put them in a match, and then we can do Trent versus Dave, or we could do, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we'll do Matthew Horgan versus Bray Phillips. Just leave that blank. And then we'll do. Um, Brandon White, oh. Oh. Brandon White versus Roy Knight. And then, um, we'll do Brandon White attacking after the match. This is so long winded, I really annoyed at how they they've done these angles now. Right, there we go. And then we'll do the main event now. Um so we'll do yeah we've got Trent versus Dave. Probably the best main event we can do considering. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do the tournament which I thought I was gonna do. I'm just gonna put Peg Weights up along the line. So whoever wins this will be the first Fight Club Pro Heavyweight Champion on this. Obviously in real life there's been other champions. So we're going to go Trent. We're going to go Storytelling. And try and do an all-out match. Uh, we're slightly over like five minutes. Uh, we'll knock this down to five minutes. Uh, right, I think we're good to go. Let's see how we get on. So the first match of the night is Omari versus Brian Alvarez. Brian Alvarez wins. Wrestling rating 31. Crowd is not happy about this. 18. And the segment only got 34 overall. Uh, Omari was stand-up performer. Brian Alvarez, as you can imagine, for some reason, is rubbish. Um, he wouldn't be happy about that if he was watching this. Um, not that he would. Segment afterwards got a 16. Um, then we had Lee Hunter defeating Ashley Dunn. Got a 37 rating with the segment, 35 with the wrestling. Lee Hunter was the stand up performer with a 44 rating. Ashley Dunn did okay though. Um, Roy Knight should have done better as a road agent. 16 for the angle afterwards. Um, and then this match is probably going to be the match of the night. Segment rating of 
50, wrestling rating of 44, Millie McKenzie defeated Jetta. Um, she retained the title. Millie was stand up performer with 51, Jetta only with a 37, but not too bad. 37 is pretty good for the current roster that we have. Um, we had Brady Phillips defeating Matthew Horgan, which is a bit of a surprise. Um, got a 32 rating for the segment, 33 for the wrestling. Matthew Horgan was a lot better than Brady Phillips. And then we had Roy Knight defeating Brendan White. Got a 43 rating for the segment, 39 for the wrestling. Um, Brandon White. Brendan White's pretty good. Brandon White. Brendan? No, Brendan. Sorry. Brendan White's pretty good. He gets 47 this match. So he might end up being like pushed a little bit more than the other wrestlers on here. I think him and Brady Phillips are pretty good compared to the other wrestlers we've got. Uh, the Ambulacra's got 28. Um, and then the main events, Trent Seven defeated Dave Mastiff to become the Fight Club Pro Heavyweight Champion. The segment got a 49, 48 for the wrestling. Trent was slightly better than Dave Mastiff, but pretty good match overall. We've increased our popularity in uh, one region. We only got a 45 rating, which is a little bit less than the last Blackout Blackout episode. We did manage to get 65 people in there. That's good. We'll just get rid of this. Oh, I don't know what I did there. Financial report would have been nice, but oh well. Um, popularity stays the same. Right, let's see if it makes any difference to the finances. Hopefully it helps in some way, but it might be wrong because there was quite a lot of wrestlers booked in that show. Yeah, we, we, no, we're not doing well financially. Uh, right, and I'll be back in a sec with the next Blackout. Right, I'm back with the next Blackout episode. I have gone into my preferences and I have got rid of my work and morale. I'm just sick of wrestlers moaning. It's, right, it's ruining the game for me, to be honest. So we're going to have no wrestlers moaning from now on, hopefully. Um, yeah, anyway. Starworks, we will have that as a venue. Um, I, I don't know why it does that. I'm, I'm, I think I'm pressing the wrong thing on my mouse. It just gets rid of it. Right, Roy, Roy Knight has been spreading rumours about Brendan White, which almost led to a fist fight. Great. Um, Trent Seven got into a heated argument with a fan outside the arena and had to be restrained for making him speak. That's the second time he's done that. Um, so Dan Reed chose to find him. And then Brendan White had a small backstage clash with Trent Seven, the morale officer. Trent Seven's be is becoming a bit of a problem, but he is our main star. I can't really get rid of him at the moment. Um, Kenji has a new idea for a character. And then what's that really? Right. Uh medal? Is there anybody that we can no? Intervention, maybe? Trent? We tried Trent. We cannot stage an intervention. Oh, okay, fair enough. So it's only people with alcohol drug problems. We'll leave it there. I don't think we need to do any of that. Right then. So the last Blackout episode, we've got a show rating of 50 and attendance of 50, so let's hope we can beat that. We have got, hopefully we've got a few of our wrestlers back. Yeah, Kid Lycos. We'll do Kid Lycos versus, <clears throat> and we've got Leon Slater back as well. He's only here for like one or two more shows though. So we'll do Kid Lycos versus Omari to start the show. Leave that blank. And then we'll do Kid Lycos 2 versus Lee Hunter. really don't like doing bloody angles, so I'm going to have to do an angle. So we'll do Lee Hunter, Attacker, Kid Lycos, two, Victim, and then we'll just put Hunter, Attack, Lycos, two. There we go. Lots of good in. That's that done. Um, we'll do Easton Reese because he hasn't wrestled for us a while. We'll do him versus Leon Slater. 
we'll do Hayston and Reese attacking Leon Slater after the match. It's so boring, I hate having to do this, but it's part of the product, I've got to have a few angles in there. Um, right, we've got enough room for one more match, the main event, so we'll do Trent versus Clint, no, Cousin versus Cousin, we'll have that for his, for Trent's title, we'll have Trent retain it, and we'll do a Wild Brawl, see if that goes down well, because Clint is a brawler, so it will benefit him, I think. Um, Interchange with road agent. Uh, we'll try Dave Matson against this one. I'd advise against putting Clint McGarren in a match this length. Okay. Uh, go to 12 minutes. Is that okay? No. Nope. 10. There we go. Right. We are ready to go. Um, Kid Lycos defeated Omari, it got a 34 8 for the segment, 35 for the wrestling. Kid Lycos was the standout performer in this match, um, 38. Yeah, Lee Hunter defeated Kid Lycos 2, got a 43 rating, um, 45 rating for the wrestling. I'm thinking of maybe putting Lee Hunter and um, Omari in as a tag team, I reckon. So, at least it'll give us a tag team to put against. Lycos, uh, Kid Lycos 1 and 2, but the second got 43, wrestling got a 45, Kid Lycos 2 was 49 rating, not too bad. The angle afterwards got a 21, um, 50 rating for the segment in the Oyston Reese versus Leon Slater match, Leon Slater won, wrestling got a 49 and Leon Slater was the standout performer, he will be missed when he goes. To the company Wrestle Hall, North Wrestling. Um, in the main event, Trent Seven defeated Clint Margera. Got a segment got 49, 44 for the wrestling, and Trent Seven was way above his Clint Margera in wrestling ability with a 54 rating. We only got 46. We did increase the popularity in one region. We got 52 people in, so slightly more, so at least attendance was better. Then financially, we've made slightly more money this time. £10 in merchandise, £364 in ticket sales. And then the cost was £1,934. We are now minus twenty-five grand in the red. Popularity still the same in the Midlands. Right, we'll have a quick look, see if there's anything worth telling you about in the news items. Um, let's have a look. There we go. So we've got new we've got new alliance champions. We love wrestling alliance tag team titles. Went to Elijah and Rory Rory Coyle. Let's have a look at the alliance new alliance titles. At the moment we have a we don't have a heavyweight champion. Elijah and Rory Coyle are the tag team champions. And the women's title is vacant at the moment as well. Right, Leon Slater has one appearance left on his contract. Can we try and tie him down? Maybe negotiate or negotiate? Has he got negotiate our contract, maybe? No, no, no. Yeah, negotiate, there we go. Uh, I think we've got to wait until he's loaned from the Midlands. Right, okay. Right then, I'll be back in a sec for the next episode of Blackout. Right, we're back for the last um, last show of the episode. Um, we'll go with Starworks. Uh, Sven Creative Energy. All right, hmm. I will just go with character idea. There we go. Kid Lycos to character idea. Okay. Uh, store creative ideas. Right, that's that. 
locker room incidents. Uh, nothing to worry about so far. Oh, there we go. Brendan White has gotten a lot of heat. The rest of the locker room is soft behaviour. Fine. Uh, Steve Lelinski was brought before rest of the court due to being absorbed by his phone. I wish they'd do some different ones. They just seem like the same ones over and over again. Right, address the locker room. Mm, leave it. Okay, right, so the last show we did got a 46 and we had a few people turn up. We are kind of limited wrestler quality, what we can do. There's only so many matches we can do that might be different. Right, Ricky Knight Jr. will have him against Kid Lightbox. Two. Leave that that, and then we'll do Ricky Knight Jr. attacking Kid Lycos after the match. Oh, sorry, Kid Lycos two after the match. Noise, it's annoying me just as much as it's annoying you. Um, last attacks, Doris. Right, so that's that bit. And then we've got a bit of time left, so we'll do, uh, we'll do Trent versus who do we have him go against? I don't know why, but I'm thinking Brendan White because I feel like he's done well that he deserves a main event showing. So we'll do that, and then what we'll do is we'll have Trent win, but we're going to do an open match, keep strong Brendan White, and do a bit of storytelling. Right then, let's go. So, Ricky Knight Jr. lost to Kid Lycos 2. Uh, the second got a 44, wrestling got a 42. Both of them performed quite well. Uh, the angle afterwards was okay. Kid Lycos defeated Dave Mastiff. Um, got the second got a 38 rating, same as the wrestling. Uh, Kid Lycos slightly better than Dave. They both did well in that one. I think the aim is to try and get wrestlers to get between 30 and 40 in ring rate in ring performance. I think that's our that's as hard as we're gonna get with most of these that we've got at the moment. Um the segment got 34, wrestling got 32. Man like Darice defeated Gene Money. I put Munry for some reason in the angle afterwards, so I apologize for that. I put that actually just because just because it'll annoy me more than anything. There you go. And the last was only got a 15. Um, and then the main event, Trent Seven retained his title. The second got 38. Wrestling got 39. Brendan White did his did, did the job with the 36. Trent Seven, 42 for him. Um, Roy Knight obviously could have done better in the match. I feel like Brendan White deserved that. He's been performing quite well. No increase in popularity changes. It was unfortunately a bit of a dud with only 37 people. Uh, sorry, 37 rating, but we did get 52 people in, which is good. Get rid of that. Financial report. Uh, same as last time, basically. Nothing we can do about it. I think we're going to lose two grand every time we do a show. I think we carry on. We're going to be quite a lot in debt by the end of it. Uh, let me know in the comments section, because... 
this one um we've got a few days in between this episode and next episode um and this will be posted tomorrow so um sorry today as you're watching it um but yeah let me know in the comments section if you want me to carry on doing the weekly events running the risk of financial ruin or do you think um i should just go to a monthly event for now or maybe even just do like one show like a bi-monthly show so every two weeks do a show let me know in the comment section you your your lots of opinion matters to me so i'm undecided what to do uh clint margera is leaving tnt but that doesn't really bother us too much um right then so let's save that before i forget uh do this there we go right thank you as always for watching we are start starting to get in a little bit of a groove now on here we're getting used to how things are done so i'm hoping that you're enjoying it still um i know there was a lot of initial uh, a really good initial response from episode one um i still had a really good response from you lot in episode two so much appreciated for the people that have stayed hopefully I'll get about the same amount of people for the third episode and so on. Um, the last thing I want is the views to start going down as the episode's going on. So, uh, and if there's any advice you can give me, whether it's playing the game or how I do the videos or whatever, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, I'm happy to take criticism because it will make me, sorry, pardon me for burping. Um, oh, and again, sorry, it will make me a better YouTuber and I just want to make better content for you lot. So, I obviously I appreciate all the the nice comments that makes it makes my day because it makes me feel like I'm doing uh doing a good service to you lot providing the entertainment but obviously you know some criticism every so often is fine if it's good criticism if it's just saying how shit I am then I'm not going to pay attention to that because that's just negative if it's good criticism if it's something that will help me that's great anyway on that note I'll be back on Saturday with another TW no yeah saturday with another tw episode um and i'll be back yeah i'll be back soon so i'm rambling on all the best enjoy the rest of your week bye okay sorry about that that's the wrong thing i'm going now bye good afternoon i'm back lucha fm with another episode of fight club pro on tw9 um in the last episode we booked a few of our um shows that we do weekly shows and um, blackout sorry i was trying to vamp there because i couldn't remember what it was called yeah blackout so we did a couple of blackout episodes um but basically we're just we're just spending so much money each week so um i'm now minus 17 grand which is not what i wanted uh if i carry on i'm probably going to be more in debt every week so what i'm going to do is give it another month of weekly shows and if it doesn't turn around if i can't get a tv deal which is probably likely situation i am probably going to have to revert to a once a month event because it's a lot more manageable um which is a shame really but that's just unfortunate how it is maybe i should have just started with the monthly events like i did last time um wait for my money to build up a bit through the alliance and then take it from there really so we might have to go a step back before we go a step forward but like i said i'm happy to take my time with it so we'll just see how it goes worst comes to worst um i can get rid of the depth using the editor and then basically just start from scratch again and just do the monthly shows so we, we don't get too much into depth each month so we'll just see but like i said this episode is going to be us just doing the weekly events for the next four weeks hopefully um we can get the ball rolling financially a little bit might pick up a bit we don't know we'll see but i'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode